Why am I doing this with my life? I will never forgive them for removing his blue eyes. A tier. All I have to say about Power Lily is that she kind of looks sleep deprived. But who isn't in 2023, am I right guys? B tier. I was gonna do this whole bit where I tried to do a French accent, but I am not gonna put you guys through that. B tier. I mean, hear me out. Those lips? That color? That has to be an easy S tier. What did you think I was gonna say? Toadstool is kind of really cute. <clears throat> I mean, Toadstool really encapsulates the appealing nature of some of the vegetation in this video game franchise known as Plants vs. Zombies. Is that good enough for you? Azure Wolf 168 if that's your real name, B tier. You know, I'm kind of surprised. This list has been relatively positive. Not a single plant has been C tier or below. I sure hope this streak continues. What the fuck? Get this off my screen. Uh, th this is self defense. F tier. If you didn't like me putting fat beat in D tier, you're gonna hate me for this. I don't like cactus. Cactus looks more like a zombie than a plant. The colors they chose are so muted. Could they seriously have not used any more vibrant colors? I know some of y'all are gonna put up your pitchforks after this, but D tier. This is probably another unpopular opinion, but Electric Blueberry looks kinda uncanny to me. Like, they tried to make her cute, but kinda failed in my opinion. They made her look super lifeless and dead inside, but part of me does kinda like it for some reason, so minor shock was telling me B tier. Jack O' Lantern reminds me of those old candy pumpkins I'd get around Halloween. You know what I'm talking about. Like and subscribe if that was a relatable nostalgic moment for you. Jack O' Lantern's just a cute little guy. I don't care what you say, he is A tier and you cannot change my mind. The worst part about Grape Shot is, they just feel uninspired. Like, they feel like the obvious plant to include. Can't forget about the grapes plant. Say what you will about later premium plants, but they are everything but uninspired. C tier, the better Snapdragon. While I will say he is better than his warmer cousin, I still don't think he looks that much better. He looks like, my girlfriend just broke up with me so now I'm emo but still trying to look cool. C tier. Escape Root is just a quirky little guy, and I don't hate it. I think he kind of pulls it off. B tier. Frick you, Gold Bloom. Of course, they make one of the most overpowered plants cost $5. At least with seed packet plants, you have a chance to get them if you're free to play. Not Gold Bloom, though. They just had to be different. You already know A tier. Wasabi Whip has a cool name and he looks cool? That's easy A tier material. His design is simple, but complex at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. This has to be the least talked about money premium plant. Like, when was the last time you saw someone use Kiwi Beast? I don't even know what he does. I do know that he's D tier though. Apple Mortar is another underused premium plant, and I think her design is pretty cool to be honest. B tier. Witch Hazel is overrated. I do not care for her design. And what are you gonna do about it, huh? What, what, you, you gonna cry? You gonna wham wham? gonna leave a comment c tier whoa 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 man Ch chill out it, it's just my opinion L let's not do anything rash that kids is why you invest in kevlar hoodies don't you ever try something like that again, you hear me? I, th I think he's dead. Parsnip looks pretty cool. I like the fact that they actually look 3D. A tier. I love the look of Mistletoe. She really pulls off the Ice Queen look and is a solid A tier for me. Why'd they have to make this plant look like Cauliflower? I mean, based on regular Hypno Shroom, they could have made one of the coolest looking plants in the game. But instead, they wasted a plant with such potential on cauliflower. I want to put it in D tier, but unfortunately, it's not as horrendous as some of the other plants that'll be in D tier later on. C tier, but I will never forgive them for the wasted potential. Electric Pea Shooter is the best Pea Shooter redesign. He is what Snow Pea or Fire Pea Shooter wanted to be. He just looks so cool. S tier. I adore Holly Barrier. 
The faces are just super expressive, and I think it does the whole multiple faces thing the best. I also think the colors are super vibrant, easy S tier. I can't believe we got two S tiers in a row. I also want to use this time to say that I mainly love all the plants that are tied into holidays. You can get super creative using plants from holidays, and most of them do hit for me. Some of the later ones are kind of forgettable though. So that was all the money premium plants. Yup, we still got about 99 more plants to cover. Next we have the gem plants. Starting with squash. What can I say? This design for squash is iconic. I feel like when I think squash, I think this design. I think he's a decent B tier. Jalapeno. Iconic? Yes. But does it actually look good? No. Somebody needs to put this guy out of his misery. I will say that he does look better than Cherry Bomb, but honestly, I think I look better than Cherry Bomb. D tier. Hypnostream is one of my favorite plants from the PvZ franchise. From the gameplay mechanics to the design of Hypnostream, they are just goaded. What can I say about the design? I love all the different colors, and I think in general this is just a really creative plant. S tier. You know, I've always wondered, what do the zombies see after they eat a Hypnostream? I guess there's only one way to find out. Peanut. Uh, he's, does he always look like that? I always preferred uh, Mr. Peanut from those commercials. Anyway, whatever happened to that baby Mr. Peanut? Like, he was in like one commercial or something and then he just like never appeared again? Um, wasn't I supposed to be doing something? Oh, whoa, uh, wait a minute. Mr. Peanut. I, I think he's a uh, B tier. He kind of reminds me of that uh, Mr. Beast candy bar I can't quite remember the name of. Anyway, where was I about that uh, Mr. Peanut? Oh yeah, 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 he was only in like one- <laughs> oh, where am I? Why is there a picture of homing thistle? Oh crap, I still have to finish my plant making? How long was I out? Um, I still can't believe they replaced cattail with this thing. Um, I don't know, B tier I guess. Ooh, ghost pepper. Unlike witch hazel, this Halloween plant isn't overrated. I really like the simplistic design with some neat little details. Yeah, this is a great plant design, S tier. Also, I like the fact that she looks like she's actually happy. That's something you cannot say about every plant on this list. Sweet potato looks kind of weird to me. I mean, I think they made a sweet potato as cute as they possibly could, but I just get the vibes that they tried too hard to make her cute. But, I still think she mostly succeeds in what she was made for though. B tier. I really want to love this plant. I really do. But, honestly, I don't really get anything from this design. I love the face with the big eyes, but that's really the only thing I take away from this. B tier. Hovercale just looks too busy for me. I feel like they gave him a little too much detail. He definitely would be improved in my opinion if he was simplified more. But, I do get that he's supposed to represent, like, lettuce and kale and stuff, so, on that front, he's pretty realistic. I don't know, just too over-designed for me. C tier. Can somebody please tell me why Snowpea's name is Snowpea, but her name is Firepea Shooter? Why isn't she just Firepea instead? Actually, saying that out loud makes me kind of thankful that her name is Firepea Shooter. Anyway, I do kind of like her design. I just think the fire on her head looks kinda weird, but if I gave Snoopy A tier, I'll give her A tier too. Lava Guava is just a grumpy little guy. Me, 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 my, me, 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 when, me, when no morning cup? ChatGPT, make a relatable meme using Lava Guava. Me trying to handle life's problems like Lava Guava in a zombie attack. Thanks, buddy. A tier. In a video game where I play to escape my crippling loneliness and introvertedness, why would I use a plant that are all of those things? I do think that it's a cool gimmick that she's shy or whatever, but I don't know. I feel like they could have done better. C tier. Out of all of the OG premium plants, this has to be the most forgettable one. It's also one of the uglier ones. Nobody thinks this looks good, right? If I see any comments of people saying I should have put electric current higher, I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm out. I quit. D tier. And that's it for the gem plants. I would say some zingy one liner or something, but I can't really think of anything. Let's just cut the filament. Filament goes incredibly hard for no reason. I can't believe filament and electric pea shooter are the only plants like this. He isn't on the same level as electric pea shooter, but he's still an easy A tier for me. Peppermint just screams missed opportunity to me. 
They could have made a fire plant design, but instead it looks like they got burned out with all these mints. So, remember when I said the fire on fire pea shooter's head looked kinda weird? Well, this just takes the cake. Seeing this makes me wonder what he'd look like in the PVZ one art style. Also, I hate the green that's in the middle. They really couldn't have made him all fire. They dropped the ball hard on this design. D tier. Winter Mint. The worst mint gameplay wise, but not the worst design mint. That being said, something just feels off with Winter Mint. I don't know, the colors are just kind of weird. They're so like, muted, and I don't know, just something about them. C tier. I am honestly just surprised and impressed that they were able to make him look so 3D. Like, they did a surprisingly great job, especially with some of their more 2D looking plants in the game. I think this calls for a celebration in B tier. This is one of the most inspired plant designs I've ever seen in this game. It's just so different, and it doesn't even look that bad. To be honest, I think she goes kinda hard. Just because of the originality, and honestly the out there nature of her design, I have to give it an A tier. It's okay, nothing to write home about. This design is kinda unappealing to me. If you like it, I'll power to you, but I just don't really like it that much. C tier. Hey guys, I started a new Minecraft server. I'm also changing my name to xxxne underscore percent underscore 96 xxx. And no, this has nothing to do with enchantment. But, to me, enchantment represents what I love about early internet days. This looks like an average teenager's profile on Xbox Live. Anyway, in all this seriousness I can muster up, I do love that his hat doubles as the top of a mint leaf, and I think it's kinda cute that one of his eyes is covered up by it. I just think he looks cool. Whoa dog, chill out. Self-harm is a serious problem, and I will be putting containment in B tier so they can hopefully get help. I mean, I feel like a bear trap is a little excessive. I only use them for Sam. Don't ask who Sam is. He is way too confident to be flexing his muscles like that. Part of me admires the confidence, but the other part of me admits that he isn't the prettiest boy. D tier, because the muscles just end up making this guy look weird. Yeah, I dig it. It's satisfying that the side cannons are symmetrical, but the main cannon has some extra detail. The two cheeks were an interesting choice that, in my opinion, kind of makes the design worse for me. Without the cheeks and with a normal face, I think they might have been an A tier or even an S tier, but as it is, B tier. Right when I thought these mints were starting to get formulaic, they gave me this. This was one of the few plants I knew were S tier just by looking at them. They're just clean. I don't really have anything else to say. I just like their mysterious vibe. S tier. This is easily one of the most cursed looking mints. Maybe she looks realistic, but every time I look at her, I just get the feeling that one light touch will turn her into shreds. But also, if I touch the pointy part, I'll start bleeding all over the place. D tier. Not everything should be pea shooter based. I could get regular pea shooter reskins, but this is starting to go a little far. I will say that compared to some of the later pea shooter inspired plants, this is nothing. I think C tier is the most generous I can get. This whole idea of not everything should be a pea shooter will come back soon. Can I say it? I'm gonna say it. Torchwood has the worst redesign for PvZ1. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this might be worse than PvZ2 Scary Shroom. No. Scary Shroom is the enemy. I mean, I love the design of Torchwood from PvZ1. The fire actually looked like fire. I just hate this redesign so much. F tier. Not as bad as Torchwood, but still not good. Again, I really like Starfruit's design from the first game. And again, this redesign just looks over-designed and honestly not even that good. D tier. It's literally just like a regular dandelion with a face on it. C tier. I dig Blooming Hot's design. Like I said before, I usually like the holiday themed plants and this is no exception. A tier. I think it's alright. There are some kinda unappealing aspects of her design, but I feel like the positives outweigh the negatives. C tier, but I can see why someone would like this. They really did my man dirty. They really couldn't have just made him all red like in the first game. I really can't put him above C tier. I think he has a cool design. My only problem is that he doesn't have a mouth. I still think he's a decent A tier. Okay, so, hear me out. Maybe they made him look like this as commentary for the social standards we put ourselves and others to. And that the only thing we really need to be cute or handsome is just self-confidence. 
and that you can do anything with self-confidence. But the social standards in this world try to put down those who are too confident just because of the way they look. F tier. This is what Solar Bean tried to look like, but failed. Just to spite him, I'm putting Solar Tomato in A tier. I don't know why this mint is a seed packet plant, but she's pretty cool. B tier. Not a fan. I think they just tried too hard to make him look like a shadow plant. He ends up looking kind of goofy to be honest. The proportions of his head just look kind of weird to me compared to the other pea shooters, C tier. On the other hand, I think they did a great job in making pea shooter a poison plant, B tier. This is what I was talking about when I said not everything should be a pea shooter. What even is this man? Ban this guy from going in the 5 mile radius of a school. I am scared what he'll do to those kids. Lock this guy up in F tier. I guess they really liked pea shooter redesigns at this time. Okay, so it does change the pea shooter quite a lot, but I can still see that little pea shooter head in there. I honestly think they should have made Snappy its own plant. I feel like it gets tied down because it's connected to a pea shooter. But I think the base concept is there, so A tier. Okay, this is starting to get ridiculous. This is the fifth pea related plant in the row. I know they're not technically a pea, but you see what I mean, right? Anyway, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. This is what premium plants should strive to be. It's clean, simplistic, and still charming. B tier. I miss the pea plants. I get knowing Tile Turnip's name, but if you know this plant's name from the top of your head, you really need to play some other games. I do not need to explain myself when I put this thing in F tier. At first, I thought I wouldn't really like Daisy Chain's design, but it's really grown on me. I love that each of the faces have different expressions and personalities, and I like the colors they chose. Sometimes it feels like they choose the most muted colors for some of these plants, but I don't get that from Daisy Chain. A tier. This is what I meant with the whole muted colors thing. I get it looks realistic, but you could give me a unicorn as a plant and I'll put it in S tier. Yeah, this is just ugly, and to be honest, I do kind of feel bad that he never got a chance as a cool looking plant, but F tier man, sorry. So I know that Polka is kind of hated for being one of the most busted plants in the game, but I actually like her design. If you ignore your bias for a sec, you cannot tell me that that smile is not charming. I think the shading, the coloring, the details, everything just makes this a decent plant. A tier. But if you want to put her in F tier, I won't judge. It's not like this list is the ultimate non-biased dissection of every plant design from the game Plants vs Zombies 2. They kinda look like a Rick and Morty background character. That's all I'm gonna say about that. C tier. This vine design actually looks kinda cool. I like the fleshy looking textures and yeah, B tier. One of the better vine plants. The reason Pumpkin's redesign is really bad is because it's too oversimplified. Look at PVZ1 Pumpkin. It's super jagged and, to be honest, messed up, but that adds to his design and makes him unique. PVZ2 Pumpkin is the exact opposite of this. He's oversimplified, forgettable, and D tier. I'm gonna speed run the next few, okay? Forgettable, C tier. Why is she looking at me like that, A tier? I didn't know they had bop to this game, C tier. Cute, S tier. Not as cute. I still like it though, A tier. I love the multiple stages and I think they're all done well, A tier. I kinda like it cause it's so ugly, but that only lifts it up to a D tier. Very creative plant. Reminds me of some of the PVZ2 China exclusive plants. A tier. Too wild for me. D tier. Too realistic. C tier. The holiday plants I added later on just do not hit the same for me. C tier. Okay, pause. I have never seen this plant in my life. I'm sorry for calling Ice Bloom forgettable. I'm sorry for assuming you don't know Electric T's name. Because I know none of y'all know her name. And before making this video, I had never seen this plant in my life. I guess the design is fine, kinda mid though, C tier. So what, we're using bombs to kill zombies now? I mean, with the name Sticky Bomb Mice, like, God bless America, we gonna defeat these zombies the old fashioned way. Her design is kinda generic though, they should've given her a gun, that would've been freaking sweet. C tier. Who? C tier. Keep rocking in the free world man, I do like his design and gimmick, A tier. They really replaced my Gloom Shroom with this thing. Gloom Vine just looks so goofy and in the worst ways possible. I cannot take this seriously. F tier. Do you guys really care about what I think about freaking Draftadale? Man, I'm done with this. Hey guys, ignore everything I just said. I could never leave. I'm gonna be making these ranking videos for the rest of my life. Not everything should be a pea shooter. 
It looks like someone skinned Pea Shooter and turned him into a rug. I feel so bad for him. F2. Their plant food is more iconic than them. Don't worry, I'll talk about this Giga Trad later. For now, they're C tier. I mean, what even is this man? C tier. Solar Sage is kinda cute and cool at the same time. A tier. Oh my god, what happened to him? I'm just gonna put him in F tier and hope that he gets better. For a vine, pretty cool. B tier. Remember way back when we were talking about Holly Barrier? Well, this is an example of something that doesn't use the whole multiple faces thing well. No, I think this does it horrendously. Terribly. This is an abomination on my eyes. F tier. I really want to hate Iceweed for having no reason to exist, but he does kind of look cool, so B tier. I think Tiger Grass is cool and all with his multiple stages or whatever, but the only tiger that looks good is the baby one. The other tigers do not fit this art style at all. A tier though, just for the effort of making like 6 different sprites for one plant. What is this? Why does this exist? I guess it looks kinda cool, but they could've made it better with the whole robot concept. And imagine if they made this plant during base PVZ too. It probably looks sick. B tier. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video. This took me super long, and it would be appreciated. That's probably what this guy sounds like. B tier. Aww. Definitely the best of the plants you plant under other plants. I really love this design. Is he really S tier worthy? I don't know, but I need some variety, or else this video will get boring, so S tier, buddy. That smile alone propels them to A tier. The key to a man's heart is a smile, and they definitely have it. I put regular pea shooter in C tier, goo pea shooter in B tier, repeater in A tier, so it only makes sense that I put him in S tier, right? It's natural evolution. They really be making everything as a plan to this game, huh? This is literally just Potato Mine without some of its distinct features. The problem is that the only reason I like Potato Mine is for its distinct features. C tier, I guess. I mean, that mouth? Hit me out. I don't see how you could put this guy above D tier. Yes, his mouth is cool, but he's just not that appealing. What'd you think I was gonna say? I really want to like but I just don't see what the hype is about. Do y'all really like All I'm saying is that doesn't belong in this country. I know my opinions on are gonna be muted, but I don't care. I will never stop believing. C tier. Did you know that Meteor Flower is based on Purple Top Flower? Verbena Borsnabla? More specifically, the Meteor Shower Cultivar? I found that infinitely more interesting than Meteor Flower's design. I do think it's decent, but nothing above B tier. Didn't they add this guy because he was in PVZ3? Anyway, I do think he has one of the better plant designs out of the instant use plants. C tier. What's even the point? This video better get like a thousand likes or something because I put way too much effort into this. D tier. Please tell me this thing isn't real. Please tell me the PVZ wiki was hacked and this was added. If this is real, this is the easiest F tier I've ever seen. I didn't think they could do worse after Health Seeker, but somehow they did. F tier. Wow, three F tiers in a row? PVZ really fell off. At least we end on a decent design. Maybe looks pretty cool. Maybe she's A tier. Okay, so yes, I am technically done. But here are some bonus plants just for fun. Bamboo Spartan looks pretty cool. A tier. Marigold paid me to put her in B tier. I don't deny Paychex. Sponsors? Just as beautiful as Electric Current. D tier. I would have rather gotten this than Fat Beam. Still not that good though. D tier. Holy crap, they added both the VeggieTales into this game? Although, Larry isn't looking that good. I'm just gonna put you in F tier and hopefully you work through that stuff you're going through. I told you we'd talk about my man Giga Chad Doom Shroom. He may only be a balloon, but he still gets S. Well, that leaves only one plant left. Scaredy Shroom. I roasted you. I had ChatGPT write a diss track about you. And yet, you still stand in front of me? Still afraid? I am ending this once and for all. So, here's my completed tier list. And here it is combined with the last one. So, this is the definitive PVZ2 plant design tier list. Oh wait, oh crap, this is the wrong one. Okay, this is my definitive PVZ2 plant design tier list. As you can see, I have changed some of my rankings off camera and I hope you agree. 
subscribe and join me next time where I'll rank Mario enemies based on edibility. Bye. You know, I don't even like this game that much.